Very good afternoon and welcome to another Lord Lodge devotional with Pastor Hayton. Been a little remiss this week, missed a day or two and other days I've had to go back and uh, publish from our archives. Uh, a lot going on. I've come down with one of my infamous colds and it always seems to affect my voice in an adverse way, as you know. I said Wednesday night at church, I believe that Satan is really attacking the ministry today. He wants to silence the gospel message. And one way that he attacks me is through my voice. He wants to silence me and my message by attacking my voice. And so I struggle with a weak voice sometimes. And when I do get some little viral infection, well, it seems like it always affects my speaking voice. And then, too, with the Christmas holiday, I took a day off for Christmas. And uh, then the last two weeks, I've had a couple cataracts removed from my eyes. My, I tell you what a difference it makes. I really don't need these glasses, really, to see now. Uh, I got them because I was going nuts without my glasses for the past 67 years, nearly every waking moment of my life. I've had glasses on my face, and man, I was a nervous wreck all morning this morning, uh, reaching up to adjust my glasses, and I tell you, it just didn't feel right, so I had to make a trip to the thrift store and see if they had some glasses that uh, didn't have much magnification, and I got this frame that seemed like it's just almost clear glass for $1.98, so I've got something on my face now. Keep me from getting so nervous. But I, I notice a difference in color. Many times I look in the mirror in the morning and I rub my beard and I think, man, that beard is sure yellow. I didn't realize that I'd gotten so white until I got the cataracts removed from my eyes. So anyway, now that's where we're at today. And I just want to come on and tell you where we've been, what we've been doing, now I'm rejoicing in the goodness of the Lord. God is so good. And as we come down toward the end of the year 2018, I'm going to have more to say about that in the next day or two. But I know that we can look back and see that God has been with us every step of the way. He hasn't failed us one time. He has proved himself time and again to be the faithful God. And as we stand on the threshold of a new year, I have complete confidence in God that whatever may happen, whatever the path of life uh, may lead us to or away from or how rugged it may be, I know that God's going to be there with us every step of the way. So hopefully I'll have even a better voice tomorrow, but did want to pop on today and just kind of tell you what's going on and and tell you that uh, we're trusting God for a very blessed and a happy new year for us all. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness and your mercies to us. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of eyesight, how we can see things so much more clearly, so much more brightly. May our spiritual eyesight be all that it ought to be. Now bless us throughout the day. Have your way in our hearts and lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow with more of a devotional. And Lord willing, goodbye now.